Here is a little update on albino quails we hatched over the weekend. We hatched two albino quails and these are some of the left from the hatch as well as those two. Please excuse the mess in the cage. We change it every second day and we only just changed it yesterday but they do make a lot of mess. Uh, darker color ones are normal eyed one. They are a lot bigger. This is albino one which we think probably got only 10% of eyesight. Hey, 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 they're really cheeky. You can see head bobbing because it's trying to feel where the um, objects are. That's how they kind of feel it. Uh, there's another albino which is coming over there. This one probably has a bit more vision. We can see it's a lot bigger than the other one as well. And we can tell in, when we look at the eyes, it's red, but it's not as bright red as that one. Mm -hmm. So, this one struggled a bit first day and second day, but we learned a lesson that when they're um, born with a certain condition like albino, it is best to leave them alone and then let them work out how they're going to live their life with a given condition because we can't um, look after them forever but it struggled a little bit so that's why it fell behind of growing but it worked it out and it is doing really well finding food and water drink water so we're always trying to put something strong color so they can kind of see the glimpse of it and others are you know, others are not being nasty or packing eyes, nothing that happened. So, eventually, I think it will catch up and look similar sized. <laughs> how it's amazing, isn't it? How nature, they adopt and then try to live their life. It's a pretty strong little things. I'll keep you updated. Bye-bye.